everyone, welcome to a new video. So today is the hottest day ever in <laughs> in in all of time <laughs> in England. So excuse me if I look like I'm melting a little bit. It's probably because I am. <laughs> in fact, I think I might go and look for a fan. We are quite lucky in this old house where Chris works in the basement. He's quite cool, and actually our ground floor level is not it's not too bad here really. So I am joining in the Artist Soul online retreat, which is being run by Lally Mill. Um, it actually started a couple of days ago, so I'm, I'm needing to catch up. But she's running a free workshop and I thought I would um, take you along with me and maybe offer some inspiration via me from her <laughs> and um, introduce you to perhaps an artist you hadn't heard of before. I think I first came across her from a YouTube recommendation actually with a sketchbook tour. She does these beautiful, beautiful, mostly abstract, but also not, is a mixed, it's just, <laughs> her art is really difficult to explain. Um, it would come under the, mix, the term mixed media for sure. But she also does some beautiful flowers and flower workshops as well that are lovely. Um, so anyway, I would really like to give this a go. So let's begin and do let me know in the comments if you are crafting along at the same time as watching this video. I'd love to know if you're getting up to something creative. The first thing to do is to make an inspiration page. I think I'm just going to uh, tear this out. And she says to gather lots of interesting pictures, anything you're drawn to, perhaps think about a colour scheme. And I'm thinking about going with lilac and green, but we'll see what I find. I haven't started looking yet. Yeah, and then we sort of make a collage, add in any textures that we like. And yeah, it's just a bit of fun. I'm really going to enjoy this. Okay, these are some of the things I have gathered. I've only cut out two words. I'm sure I could find more, particularly when I'm looking through um, an old issue of In The Moment magazine, because, oh, rest in peace, that magazine, I loved it. So I've just kept escaping and go wild. I really liked those as little um, sentiments. And then I've cut out, I think this was an advert for wallpaper. I've got a picture of some blossom. I think this was another advert for wallpaper just a flower, some pretty cushions. I've got that uh, picture from somebody who had that silver birch wallpaper up in the background of their bedroom. That lovely picture of uh, cherry blossoms and that picture. Now I, I did tear out this picture because I love the castle, <laughs> I love the palace. But if you look at all the others that I've got gathered here, these are all quite muted in, uh, it's actually ended up being quite, quite pink pink and lilac. I expected it to be green with lots of green trees and things but I just didn't come across those pictures. So I think we're going to stick with, with this colour palette for this one. I'm not sure about this. I found this in my drawer but that's a possibility where someone, um, I think I bought this in a bundle of scrapbooking stuff and someone else had distressed um, a piece of paper, a piece of a book page. Um, I've got the see-through bit of paper. Not sure about that one either actually. I don't know whether that's just a bit too, not as muted as the other colours. And then I've got some wallpaper samples and these are from when we were looking for a wallpaper for the camper van. And that I thought would look really nice with it. As with the trees, I do like a wallpaper with trees. So I've got that one and this is the one we actually did use in the end. So I've got that one. So, oh and a little bit of green, so I might use that just some paper that I found in my scrap paper drawer. So yeah, I think I might put that one to one side and not use that. And then I shall now put these together in my, in my piece of paper. So here we are, here's my inspiration page. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> I really like that. So Lally Mill suggests using masking tape and you know like something like a print stick or you know a, a not very strong glue stick I suppose so that we can reuse them. So I've just used tape here and there to 
press it down which I really like the look of I like that anyway actually it gives it a nice sort of pin board mood board feel yeah I like that so I've included a little bit of hand dyed cotton gauze that I've dyed and I've got a bigger piece here because I have looked ahead in the second workshop and I think we're going to use some of these pieces again so I haven't used all of it and that's why I went with the tape option because I think that might be easier because when you're layering things on top of each other you don't want to have glue on top of a picture that you might reuse so I've just used the tape. So this was workshop one so I'm gonna move straight on to workshop two. I haven't watched all of it yet but I know we are creating a series of four pictures. She's using squares but I don't know I've got a bit of a funny sort of block against squares and also I don't want to cut up <laughs> I don't have a square pad and I don't want to cut up anything that I'm, I'm not very good at cutting pieces of paper up and having wastage so I'm using this size which is eight by five inches and this is a, a pad I've had since does it have a pro it's from home base that's a very odd place for me to have bought this um, <laughs> I've had this for a very long time, hopefully, as you can tell. So I thought I'd just use the back of these old bits of... Oh, those roses are not bad. Oh, now do I want to keep them and include them, maybe? A cornfield landscape, a sunset, a Stonehenge. This is quite a theme of mine. <laughs> um, oh... Oh, that's a nice fairy. Oh, now I'm not sure if I want to use the back of these or not. Oh, now I'm having second thoughts. But it's not like these are... Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to use the back of these. So let's tear out that one. That's easy. I will tear out this one, actually. I think, that, I mean, that cornfield is easy to, to lose. I don't, I don't mind losing that one. I don't mind losing the sunset. Stonehenge or fairy. Because I'm thinking I could cut round that and use that on a on a birthday card. No, I'll use that. <laughs> I get really sentimental about finding old pictures. No, I don't know. I can always look at the back of what I'm about to create, I'm sure. So I'm sure that's fine. That's fine. I mean, it's not like I'm ever going to sell these or anything, is it? So here are my four pictures. Oh, that one's just going out of shot. Yeah, I did these really quickly. I mean, Lally Mill does talk about um, placing things intuitively, how you feel is best. Oh, that's upside down. Actually, I did quite like it the other way up. And so that's what I that's what I did. I just did these so fast. I did these while while my microwave meal was cooking. Actually, <laughs> thought right, I'll get this done while the microwave meal cooks, and uh, and then it can be drying while I eat, which is exactly what I did. And now I'm ready to carry on. I'm not sure if I realised this at first, but the lines we drew at the beginning were horizon lines. So these are going to be abstract landscapes. And the next step, now that I've added my little collages, is to start to add a little bit of paint. And other colours as well. So I've got my Stabilo woody water-soluble pencils, crayons, handy. I've pulled out some of these acrylic paints. I might actually use the pearl wisteria, it's called, the lilac colour. Yeah, so I might do that. 
and then I've also got my more my cheapier acrylics that I've got as well so I can just mix up anything and I might try and do a muted green to sort of match this green that I've used here and there and I also might do a pink as well it has all ended up quite pink actually <laughs> oh I also found these two crackle paints what do they have names they're from cosmic shimmer create crackle effects with this one step acrylic crackle paint and I really want to try these because I love the crackle effects you get I've got a crackle medium actually that I also haven't used before so this one's called heather and this one is called jade mint so yeah I think I'm going to use them even though that's not really the right color but I think it will go it, you can see it here and there actually It is the next day sorry about the light but it's uh, perhaps I can open a little bit now um, so yeah we've got the advice to shut all the curtains because uh, to try and stop the heat coming in it is very 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 hot so I left this overnight to dry and some of the crackle paint has crackled beautifully so I can give you a little review on the cosmic shimmer crackle paint very impressed actually the lilac squirted out on my palette really really thin so I didn't expect much and I haven't got much <laughs> but it has crackled where I did manage to get it thickly oh let me show you a couple of close-ups there just there it's crackled a little bit yeah it was far too thin on this one it didn't work at all on that one but I did get some a little bit of cracking just here but the best one was this uh, what color was that called Oh, I can't see the colour. Anyway, that colour. <laughs> that has cracked beautifully here and up here and over here actually. So I've got this lovely crackle effect. The only thing, the only problem with this paint is that it now looks like water, not like grass. So I might, I don't know, I don't mind it actually. It's, it is meant to be abstract. I've got some lovely thick crackles on here. Oh, this has dried out, this bit of glue. Let me add some Pritt stick under there. Push it down a little bit. There's not a lot of contrast going on. I want to add a little more contrast. So I'm going to use my uh, plastic palette knife and some white paint to tone down the skies and add some, yeah, I mean, I've got areas here with no, with nothing on them at all. And here it just got too, too blotchy and dark looking. And I might add some dark to the darks as well. I did intend on these like green spikes that I've added everywhere to look like um, a row of trees on the horizon but it kind of looks just a little bit messy so I might just use a dark pencil to to go over that. I've got beside me some Derwent Graphitint pencils Whoops. so I might pick out like the green of that and um, blend it in a bit but then I think they'll be done. So let me find a podcast. I've been listening to the Do It For The Kids podcast. If um, that's one of my, my favourites. The only problem is is that it's two, the episodes are very, very short and I'd like them to be longer. It's really fun to listen to and is generally about solving problems people have that are freelancers with a family. Even though I'm not freelance, I enjoy doing that. There's quite a few. I haven't listened to podcasts in a while. I'm going to listen to the Being Freelance podcast, actually. That's run by the same guy that's in the Doing It For The Kids podcast, and I really enjoyed listening to them yesterday. So that's going to be my podcast for today. Hey, I'm Steve Holland. Welcome to another one.
well I think I'm gonna call that finished I haven't done all of the techniques that Lally suggests um, she did some scratching into the paint have I left it too late shall I give that a try I don't know I think I think I've got to that point where I'm now, I'm now impatient I want to go on to the next workshop and I need to get on with it because I know it doesn't hang around forever so yeah I'm just gonna call that done I think let's take the tape off next time if I do this because I did enjoy working on all four at the same time I'll just get find one piece of cardboard or just use the book or just use my desk that's what it's for you know it's for getting messy so I'll do that next time rather than doing individual pieces of cardboard so here is the fun bit Oh no, that's torn. Oh no, I have to be a bit more careful with my tape. Oh no, it's really tearing the paper. Don't tear the paper. Right, I'm going to see if I can stick that back down that little bit of paper look at that right so i need to perhaps get myself some proper artist tape or just less strong masking tape oh that's not too bad is it that has rescued it i think welcome back beautiful artists can you believe this is already our third workshop together So I've just gone and had my lunch while I left that to dry and here are the four finished pieces and I really like them considering I've never tried this sort of thing before, not really. I did a bit of mixed media things with my, when I started the monthly prompts, maybe I should carry that on, I don't know, I sort of lost my mojo with that but anyway but that was more I was using stamps a lot more and stencils and anyway it was a bit it was different so I think this is not bad for my sort of more or less a first attempt at doing something like this so obviously nowhere as near as good as Lally Mills but yeah okay <laughs> they have all turned out much more similar I think my favorite of these two was the lower horizon and I think the ones with less sky particularly this one I, I got a bit lost I got a bit like I'm not sure what to do with all this space even though these are obviously small pieces of paper I do love the crackle paint I'm definitely going to use that and in fact I might look and see if I, these are only three pounds fifty each or at least they were, these were from eBay, so I don't know how much they would cost, whether that's a, a price from from years ago, whether they cost more now, I don't know, but uh, that's obviously how much the person paid for them that I bought them off. Yeah, I'm definitely going to use more of that. Right, so while I was eating my lunch, I was watching the next workshop, and that is more of a... Oh. Oh, <laughs> the tripod just started moving. Uh, the, the next workshop is more of a, a guide. Um, Lally Mill is using a big canvas. I don't have a canvas. And it's a time lapse. Obviously, with her courses, if you want to have all the in depth knowledge, then quite understandably you you have to pay for that. <laughs> so I'm going to continue and sort of take my inspiration from Lally's example piece. Now she started with a blank canvas, but in the inspiration bit, she tore up quite a lot of her, oh, we need to take you a bit wider now. Uh, she tore up quite um, some of her past pieces of art and included them. And so I was thinking about tearing up this. It was one of those days I just wanted to do something. I just wanted to get something on the paper and this is this is what came out of my head it was just some scribbles with charcoal some watercolors and dots and stars and it kind of i was kind of what came out of it was like willow leaves willow branches trailing over a river but um i was thinking actually about just using this as my background yeah i think i will yeah i think this is what i'm going to do sorry the reason why i'm doing this is <laughs> in lally's workshop she's using a square and she divides it into thirds and I'm just thinking about where my thirds would be 
on a rectangle piece of paper. Yeah, I think I will use this as a background. Why not? Well, let's use it as a starting point. And then the rest is quite similar to what we've been doing already. So I'll be, I'll be building up collage. And interestingly, look, the colours are not that different. I've got the lilac and the greens, obviously. So I'll be building up collage and textures and all sorts. Let's have some fun. the finished piece I've just written my artist soul on the front there I think Lally Mill wrote artist soul on hers and actually look here is her example piece here so you, as you can see I have borrowed slash copied <laughs> a lot of her elements into my own here and that's fine Lally talks a lot about finding your own mark making finding your own style and um, that would come with time but considering that this was just my uh, first sort of go at this then I, I'm, I'm very happy with that and I'm really happy with the overall piece I think that's a I think it's come off really nicely I really like the pretty colors it reminds me of like a uh, a Monet lily pond in some areas, which is quite nice. Yeah, I'm sure it could be improved upon and fiddled with for uh, for a long time, but I'm, I'm going to call it there. The only thing I'm really annoyed with, despite my measuring, it's clearly off. <laughs> this is definitely a lot wider than this one. I don't know what. Math is not my strong point, but that's a shame. But apart from that, I'm really happy. Well, I finished the online artist soul retreat. I think that's the name of it. It was really, really good and actually just what I needed because the evening before last, I had some pretty awful news actually and also some worrying news. So this has helped keep my mind off it and uh, has helped me, you know, focus the mind on other things. So. Uh, this came at a good time for me and I'm glad that I did it because quite often these things, particularly if they are free, is that better likewise? Yeah, when something's free you often, well I often am guilty of not actually doing it, I download it, I might look at it, I might read it, I might watch it, whatever it is, but not actually do it, so I'm glad that I've done this. Things I've learned. I now have the perfect thing to do with those pictures that I don't like <laughs> so or and also a reason to some sometimes I really just want to get a fresh piece of paper and scribble all over it use some charcoal use some paint use whatever and um, really not care about the outcome and this gives me the sort of permission to do it because um, that picture has made a really good like underpainting to the whole thing so if I do this style again then um, I've got the reason to just do that scribbly really not matter sort of mess on a page <laughs> gosh every time I lean on this desk it goes down a little bit <laughs> I'll have to be a bit more careful and I've learned that golden high flow acrylics take forever to dry and they are really strongly colored they're very bright so I need to remember that for future things and I've learned that I absolutely love crackle paint I'm definitely going to look into getting some more of those I obviously don't know when Lally Mill will next be running this free retreat if if she ever does I expect she might bring this out on a yearly basis well I don't know but I would really recommend you sign up to her newsletters I think I get them every Friday I've been getting them for quite a while they're really inspirational she's a really inspirational woman so if you are into your art and craft then I would recommend her she's uh, she comes across as a really sort of kind gentle person and she's all about art for the soul yeah worthwhile checking her out so hopefully this video has helped you find someone that you'd like to follow and I am really pleased with the result actually 
And the other thing is I would really like to practice my abstracts. This has definitely helped me get into that sort of abstract mind frame on how to create um, it's all about the layers really I think and how to just create a good composition and a good mix of colours as well. I've, I have really enjoyed it and um, yeah do go check out Lally Mills workshops if you're interested. By the way this is not sponsored or I haven't got anything free or anything I just uh, I just want to share somebody that I think you'd like to find online. Hello future me here. Um, <laughs> I didn't say an ending to the video um, I think because I was going to put it as part of one of my usual vlogs but um, in the end I thought maybe it would actually be a better one just standing alone as it is so I think I'll probably do two videos this week and I'll put this one up as an extra one or maybe it will go up before the vlog I'm not sure at this point but yeah I just thought I'd pop back <laughs> and say goodbye so if you don't want to miss that extra video please make sure you click the bell notification so you get told when it's uploaded and if you enjoy watching these these things that I make then I do have a playlist just called stuff I make <laughs> which I'll put up on the screen now and um, hopefully you'll enjoy watching that but now I'm gonna do some Instagram photos I'm really annoyed because I wanted to do this and then I put all the stuff away so I think I'm going to have to get some of it out again just to make it look like it's an action shot for Instagram I'm gonna get my backgrounds out and I think lay it on the desk behind me as the art desk has been pushed away now already so yeah I'll say goodbye take care and thank you for watching see you soon bye